Hey guys, my name is Ciniac and welcome back to another episode of Snowtown here in City Skylines. Guys, where well, last episode we built our first, well I think I say our first, our only football stadium right now, which is going to make us loads of money because the local football team, Snowtown FC, are going to win so many games because all the other teams are going to come here and go, yo, this is too cold. But us cold-blooded lizards. Are lizards cold-blooded or are they warm-blooded? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, guys, welcome back to another episode. And today, I want to take a look at setting up so a couple of ferry lines to get our peeps to and from the other side of the river, back and forth. A little bit easier. This will, uh, you know, generally help the traffic as well situation. Uh, with having an additional option to kind of get people to where they need to get to hopefully reduce traffic We don't really have any traffic anyway, but I'm always trying to future proof the city I'm always trying to get that step ahead that one step further and uh, just try and have as many people using public transport as possible now as it stands right now These are all of our transport links at the moment beautiful there is a lot so i'm kind of excited to get all this set up now if you guys do enjoy this i want to see more snow town in the future then please make sure you smash that like bullet down below if you are new in here then make sure you do subscribe so you know when our next episode comes out but we're going to create a nice little back and forth ferry loop which is going to be beautiful so there's two options i can do i can create a big loop or i could do a couple of back and forth routes in general I could do maybe two back and forth loops and then maybe look at setting up uh, well, two back and forth routes and then maybe setting up an individual loop. Yeah, I think that would be the interesting one. That would be the one to go for. So this could be quite interesting. So let's take a look at it from this point of view then. So we currently have a load of residents and buildings down here. So that's a hot spot there for a um, ferry dock. I have this area over here, which will be built up a little bit more industry and stuff like that, and there's jobs down there. Not quite built anything around here just yet, but I will eventually, which will link onto this little area. So looking around about here and around about here. Uh, of course, we have the University Island, so that we're kind of beneficial to have one there at some point. Now on this side, um, here, obviously. Uh, maybe up here, I don't know. We'll see. And it's got to be one over here as well. Now, granted, there's not really much going on over here at the minute. But again, when we do eventually set more stuff up, then there'll be a purpose to kind of travel that way. So there's a bunch of different options I can kind of go with. So what I'm thinking of is we have a little dock here at the peninsula or close to it that will travel up and over to here. Now, granted, there's nothing there at the moment. it will be beneficial to a few of these people as they can walk to it. But as this area gets more and more built up, then that will become very beneficial. A little passing route there. Then I think we'll do one from over here to over there. So what I'm trying to do is trying to make them go from the further distances. So in the middle, maybe like have one there, uh, one here, one there. And using this little river coming down to create a small loop in the middle. So none of them kind of on the same route. They're all kind of separated. Just so I can really maximize the amount of people using them. And the efficiency. So that's actually going to be kind of interesting, isn't it? It really is. How is our little football stadium doing then before we get going? Uh, the first match was cancelled. The second match we won. We made nearly 30,000 in profit from it. Genius. Genius, Snowtown FC. And we got the little monorail crossing as well. Which we had 13 users already, which is pretty cool. So, 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 so. Let's get this all set up then. And we're going to go to ships then. And we'll use the big ferry piers. So if we do do expansions on them, we have the ability to do so. Now, let's start then with the one here to there. Now, it's not going to be cool. It's not going to be that fancy and whatnot. It's just going to do the job. So we have a monorail stop there. So should I integrate it on the monorail stop or just kind of move it up a bit more? We'll move it up a bit more. Right, it's going to cause some issues doing that. I've got to then unhook the uh, the road on it right, let me pause it there we go to delete that so then we can utilize this road for it turn the anarchy back off and i'm just going to move this a little bit oh okay it's hugging to it it's hugging to the road right, if i push it back up again and actually let me undo that 
If I delete that and that and that, let me move forward a bit now. There we go. Should be okay. Should be okay. If I push it back a bit more, uh, maybe slightly elevate it. There we go. Sweet. So that's where that one would be. Again, it's walking distance from the monorail stop there. And it has two junctions of roads either side that people can come from the residential area and make their way over. So that would be a good little idea to start for one. And then we kind of want one around here. So it's literally just a simple back and forth. That's literally all it is until we get this area built up. So I'm, I'm, I'm planning for the future, boys. I'm planning for the future right now. So up the brush size. Uh, push that down is here as well. And we do need to bring the road slightly out. So if I pick the two points there. So if I come up by 11, because I'll maximize that. And then we start to bend there. So come up by 11. Okay, these are both not 11. 36, 40. There we go. We'll get to the 40 mark instead. So if I use this then as a little kind of a waypoint. Now, it's not to say I'll be able to get right against to it, but if I drop that here, right, I kind of have to kind of exit in and go back into it to get rid of that, to delete that. How far back can I push this? I mean, that is quite far back. That is asking for a, a lot from this. So what I could do is push that back down a bit more, push it into about there, and then we... Just flatten the land inside slightly so we can really maximize this area. So if I go right up to it like this, and then once the water settles in, hopefully that should work. We'll give it a minute or two then for the water to kind of settle. But a simple route there, nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy. I know it's a little bit pointless for this area right now. You might get the odd few people who walk down here to go to here, but as of right now, it's it'll be a solid move moving forward. So that will be a simple back and forth route there. So let me just set up then the actual ferry line, and we'll kind of how should we do this? Should we run them together or kind of keep it solo? So if I went to here. Went straight-ish. So there. Again, very basic, very simple. Nothing too crazy. That is our, That could potentially be our first route there. Then I'll set the secondary one that goes from over here to over there. And then we'll do the loop in the middle. So back to this then. We'll start over on this side. So this one's going to be kind of a little bit easier too. And we'll go for, should we go for it directly in the middle? Yeah. Maximize the pointage of that. So if I go here, and I'm just going to make sure now then. We unhook it. Let me pause. So you kind of got to do it like this, which is annoying. And that is the tram track road. And it's right near the tram stop as well. So again, it's really good transport linkage. So you can get on the tram, take you directly to the ferry line. Sweet, mate. And then the same thing is going to happen over here. Which is also going to be on the uh, tram line too. So if I drop this just there. Now this one's going to be a little bit tricky to try and get done. So I might have to delete more than I bargained for. Oh, snap. That's perfect. Didn't have to do much there. Did not have to do much at all. Oh, I was going to try and move it down, but we'll just kind of leave it as it is because it is kind of connected to the road. And that is a perfect another stop as well. Now, I don't know. If, I don't think that's going to be high enough to kind of pass a ferry through, but we'll give it a good go. So nice. And again, that's connected to the, the, the tram line. So say you lived over here, you could hop on the tram, get to the ferry line, go across on the ferry, hop on the tram and get to where you need to get to. So it's all connected by public transport. And again, we'll do our loop in the middle next. So... Let's just get this ferry line all up and running. So I'll use this one here and we'll kind of bend it up. Now, I know, let me turn the anarchy off. 
Yeah, so we, we know we're not going to get through there ourselves. I mean, let me turn it off again. Yeah. But that's okay. So run that to there. And then we'll run this out here a bit. To there. Run that across. And then we'll get these here connected. Like that. And that is then another route set up. And then we'll do our center loop. So should we... Oh, it's a tough one now. Should we do the... Should we get the ferry lines up on it first? Actually, no, I can't because I get the ferry depot down to release the boats and then connect up all the other lines. So, yeah, I won't do it just yet then. So, this one then. Now, this one's going to be definitely going to be a little bit interesting. So, we'll place one here and we'll place one over here for this side of the river. Okay? So, we'll get this set up real quick then. So, there is a, a stop just there. Uh, but I feel like I should get it... Yeah, round about... Oh, there. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Right, I'll come back in just a moment. We'll get this one... There. Again, perfect. So they're both there right now, then. So the two main downtowny points that I've got at the minute... I'll keep moving my mouse. And then we're going to bring it down the river... We'll have a stop about here. Now, there's going to be three really co close ferry stops. So, we want one here, one there, and one there. So, while they may look pretty close, they are one's going to be on opposite sides of the river. So, it's a million miles away. So, again, one here near that um, monorail stop. We'll have one here for the University Island, and one there. So, you can kind of zigzag as it passes through. Hopefully, that should be pretty cool. Um, so, let's get that then set up there, right, we'll get this one set up there, so again, they are pretty close, but it's just what we've got to do, it's what we've got to do, I'm afraid, and then this one will get set up, so if that one's there, that one's there, if I put that one there, it's still kind of close to that. So I, I feel like I should get it about here, maybe. No, nah, it's got to be over here, hasn't it? Has to be on this side. So if I go, or if I actually first bring this road out, there we go. So we can kind of utilize that. There we go, matey. Nice. And then unhook the roads. We pretty much then. Have our setup. Ooh, that one's going to be difficult, isn't it? Yeah, that's not going to go the way I want it to. Because it's going to unhook that road. So let me delete this. Let me see if I can place it just there real quick. And then we push it up ourselves. That's really high. Bring it down. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, let's get the road over here all finished up as well. Nice. So I think I'll just make this road come up here and kind of bend into that to create like a semicircle. And... Then that road could come across and then connect up to there as well. Yeah. Uh, but let's get this side of the river now done. Oh, snap. I was, about to say, I was literally about to say, I like it when they're nice and easy, but that, that one kind of messed me up. <laughs> uh, boom. Oh, snap. I, I thought it was going to be so easy. But no. Of course no. Right, that's all done on that side then. So we're pretty much then ready to create our little route. And again, these three here might be really, really close. But you got to think of it, this is on the opposite side of the river. It ain't really make much sense. Uh, so you can get off here and go to everything around there. But then this side of the island is quite close to this bridge to there. 
this side of there is quite close to that. So you have the option to use all three, which is pretty cool. So let's get then set up this. Now, if I pass this through here, can I... I can have a double connection. I'm not really going to be able to get away with double connection here. So I'll just kind of uh, pass it through like this. And go out that way. This can... Go out this way. So... We kind of want like a generic route and it comes back down. So if I did this, went quite wide round. Let's follow the, the boat lane somewhat nearby. So if I just kind of do a simple loop like that, and then we bring those other two ferry stops, uh, quite frankly, just off them. Now, if I do it in a diagonal, like that, whatever way you're coming from, you can kind of angle yourself over to it. Which makes it a bit easier. We'll do a standard connection just there. So when I drop down the ferry uh, depot, you know, the ferry depot can get the ferries to each and other of the lines and I do it like that just so they're kind of connected like in that kind of sense which should be pretty handy and let me now just connect up and give power to all the depot uh, and the ferry stops that currently don't have it so that's got water this one don't push that out it's got water got water oh just about does not have water <laughs> Just about does not have water. That doesn't make no sense. And then I'll just run this to here for now. Uh, same with this one. We'll just kind of run some very loose power lines. So got power. This doesn't have power. Uh, that has power. So they've all got power right now, which is all good. All got power. All got water. Glorious, mate. And they're pretty much all ready to go. So I'll set up first then the actual... Oh no, we need the ferry... Um, the ferry depot first. I was about to say, I set up the routes first, but no, we can't do that. And do I put this down here? I feel like I should, but I should also be continuing this, this key wall, shouldn't I? Which makes sense. So we could actually end it up over there so if i brought this now going across to my 45 to here if we went let's anarchy that into there where would a bend take place here so six by six so that all kind of oh that now looks really really nice doesn't it that does. And now because we've got these in, I can then continue it down. And, you know, we, we can really then start to kind of polish the edges off. Ooh. I'm getting excited. Can you tell I'm getting excited? Right, let's start with this. I'll place this ferry depot at the very end here. About there. So we can then circle back or do something with the road, maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe. But let me just sort the alignment of the height out quickly. So, align to object height to there, which will be pretty nice. Bring this road, make sure it's on the ground one, just to there real quick. And yeah, pretty much got to get it like connected up. So, if I brought this out, or is there anywhere by seven? Just to kind of do something like that for now. Just so the road's able to get to it. And this also needs power. Does it need water? No, we're okay for water there. I just then need to hook this up also to the 
the fairy pathway. So if I just brought that out to there, all done. And then we can now create our lines. So let's start with the first one then, nice and simple. Which is from here to here and then back. Now, like I said before, it doesn't really give much benefit for anything over there, but you know, when we start setting stuff up, uh, up, uh, up over here, <laughs> I can't even English, uh, we, we're rocking and rolling. Uh, we set this one, and so this is pretty much like industry to industry, which is a really good line for the workers. Keeps it nice and simple. And then this one. Now this one we could do a back and forth like, like a two-sided loop. That, it doesn't even make sense, does it? So if I go to there, and then we're going up to over here. We're going up to over here. We're going up to over here. And then we're ending it here. And then the other one, we go on the opposite side round. Would that work? Does that make sense? I'll try and get to stop on the, the other depot side. There we go. So that should now then like dump out a load of ferry boats. It's going to be a lot. And it would take a while before they all start circulating correctly. But we now have a couple of solid ferry lines all set up. So I'm going to take a nice sip of my delicious tea. It's been sat next to me and it's probably really, really cold right now. <laughs> As we wait for these ferry boats to make their way round. Oh, that is so damn good. Right. Right, 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 right. They're all coming out now, right now. So, there's actually not as many as I thought there would be. But then again, we would have to play around with the roots. Add more stuff on if we needed. But off they go in their many directions. And when we start to see a demand build up, that's when we'll add more or potentially take ferries away from the line. It all depends on what types of demands we do see. So from the get-go then... We don't have anybody waiting over here. It'll take a while before we start noticing people waiting. Oh, there's actually one person waiting. Oh, two people. Where some of them I thought wouldn't be make much sense right now. There's actually people waiting there. There is nobody in this one just yet. There is two people that side. There's a couple of people. Oh, there's quite a few people on that side. Interesting. Over here, maybe. So I don't think this will be used much until we have something built over on this side. These have all... There's already quite a few people right in there and there. The fact that they're on both sides really, really makes me happy. Because then I know that both the, both sides of the loop are beneficial. So that's pretty cool to see. Anybody over here? Yeah, there's a few people waiting over there as well. That's pretty cool. So the ferries will now just sail around, do their thing, and over time, we'll eventually come back to it, and we'll see what type of demands we've got from those, whether, you know, we need to add more boats to a route, we need to take some boats away, we, we don't 100% know just yet, but we kind of have the option to kind of get it all up and run it. So, continuing this road up anyway, then, make sure it's pointing in the right direction. If I bring it to about 30 there, and do you reckon this will work? 25 by 25. Oh, that was pretty sweet, wasn't it? That was pretty sweet, mate. Bring this up. We have to anarchy this through. So I'll bring that up by 30. Go out by 40. Is that going to be another 25 by 25? It is. Nice. It rounds off this little area quite nice, doesn't it? But by adding those little roads anyway, it kind of gives the traffic a little bit more direction to go. It allows people to get on off the ferry to walk down that way or walk around this way instead. So the options are pretty much there, which is really good. But again, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do within this area anyway. So we'll leave it like that. But what I do know is... What I do know is, I've, I do want to build across here. Now, if I come across here to 50. Oh, what happened there? Oh, I didn't. The bridge button didn't work. There we go. And do the same here. 
So I come across my 40. And then the extra 10. Do like that. Now this side, I'm not gonna do a grid. Okay? Not gonna do a grid. We'll have it like we have the solid lane roads cutting through here, there, and everywhere. But we're not gonna do a grid format. So if I brought that to there. Where does this intertwine? 12. Oh, 12 by 12. Okay, that bends around quite nice. So I want to do nice bendy rows, cool discs, cool discs, squiggly little ends, all this kind of good stuff to make this area quite uh, unique and sprawling. And uh, I do want to build a lot of some more industry and stuff over on this side too. Uh, not entirely sure where just yet because I will need some solid export connections. So I could always hook it up via the train network as well. That could always be a thing that we eventually do. But it's just kind of showing you where we can potentially take things, which is interesting. So I actually upgrade these back there to normal roads. Bridges as it goes across there. Okay. Um... Ferries are in full motion right now, which is looking good. So as of right now then, what's the, uh, for the boats, 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 35 a week currently. Currently only 35 a week, but that number would sh soon start shooting up. So let's take out these ferry lines then. I know it hasn't been in enough time just yet. So this one here going back and forth, there's only two vehicles on it. And granted, we're not going to have any demand just yet, but it's there for when we do. So I could potentially just reduce this then down to one boat, the bare minimum, which would be handy. Then ferry line two, which is the one that goes back and forth from the two industrial areas. Again, that doesn't need the four boats it has on right now. So I'm thinking drop it down to two because one of them does have like half capacity. So that should be pretty good. Now, for the two loops, this is a little bit different. So we have five boats on the one, which, do you know what, it's actually needed with its current demands. So we'll keep it like that. And the other one over here should have five on as well. Yeah, which with its current demands, yeah, it sounds about right to have five on those at the minute. So reducing the other two outer ones, especially this one down to one, until we do start to build up you know, more of a solid demand. And I just realized I need to also trim the edges here. So push this back slightly. There we go. Anywhere else I've kind of got to do that. We're okay there-ish, okay there, okay there. Oh, could do a bit here. There we go. That, yeah, it does stick out a little bit over here on this side. And there's fine as well. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're all good anyway. So, as of right now then, we're transporting 81 people a week just by the ferry line. There's an additional way we can transport people around. It's pretty cool. I'm liking it. Uh, so many vehicles are using this junction as well. It's to get to this downtown, well, this kind of intersection here for the highway. So I've got to integrate another one, maybe around here. So I've got to think about how we could potentially do that at some point in the future. Because maybe the other alternative then is to kind of change how we set up this road. And it also makes a lot of traffic coming down here to turn in, potentially. So maybe when we've got more roads connecting going down here, there, and everywhere. I, oh, do you know what I wonder? Let me try something. Okay. Um, so it doesn't really matter because it's all different lengths where I kind of cut in this road. But if I did it off here, for example, and if I pause... So from there, 
Then if I chose... Is that too close, you reckon? If I chose this road and I made this pass through, just for now, that's what, literally all it is, is, is just for now. And I wonder how many would then choose to kind of turn down this way as opposed to going all the way to the end. It's not the be all end all. It's not what I'm trying to. I'm not trying to solve traffic in this area at the minute because I got to build another on and off ramp because that really that's the only one to get onto that highway around this area. So I've got to build another one. We've got to have one around here. I'm thinking about getting rid of the bridge kind of thing and then integrating something over the river here. One definitely here for this road passing. One over here as well for this road connection. So it's all intertwined and all connected. That's kind of what we need to do. Now we're getting a couple of vehicles using this road. So it's to some benefit. Every vehicle that turns to go down here is one less vehicle approaching this junction. But it's just one of them things, isn't it, mate? It's just, just one of them things. So, do we continue the expansions on this peninsula? I feel like we should. Uh, where do we throw the residential down then? So I could squeeze more residential in. There and there. And I think at that point then, do we need some more commercial? We'll do two more strips of commercial here. I'll do a strip of commercial there, strip of commercial there. Uh, but we are. I'm going to add in a lot more working jobs than this side. Office industry. So fill all this up here with offices. That'll be quite nice just there. Fill all this little section up here with offices. Because there's a type of zoning that doesn't require traffic. Which I always find quite interesting. There we go, and just fill up that there. And what's cool as well, you can kind of use the, the dead spots where the awkward little areas to fill it up with offices. I'll get the residential back in there from the road that I accidentally deleted. <laughs> you damn fool. And then we'll finalize all this then. So we're definitely going to get a lot more traffic approaching now as all these new people move into these residential areas. There we go. Nice big chunk of commercial just there, so we'll just kind of keep this to all residential as well. So it kind of stops there as the tunnel goes under. Again, that's completely fine. Throw in the last remaining bits there. So again, a lot of residential offices there. So that should be a nice little peninsula on the island as we kind of end that area. And yeah, so again, it will bring a lot more people to this area, potentially cause a lot more traffic. But as we're adding in more bridges, more public transport, more highway connections, things should be good. But now it's time, a lot more time has now passed by for the ferries. We're now up to 116. So once we get this area populated, once we get this area around here populated, and more over here then uh, and and generally around this as well the ferry line should start to pick up with people uh, potentially using it which would be really interesting so as of right now even ferry line one this basic one going back and forth it's still got two passengers which is still amazing considering at the minute it's not really a main route at all uh, all that zoning should be built in for next episode anyway as it all slowly comes together and then we'll take a look at getting this park set up too. The amount of car parking on the edge of the streets is why we probably look at doing some type of car park. But like I said, it's slowly coming together. A lot more people using these little side road as well as they pass through and down, which is all good. So we, we're kind of getting there. We are kind of getting there right now. Uh, but I definitely 100% need that additional connection. That additional connection for the highway. So we can see a lot of traffic right now then as all the new residents move into that residential area. Um, but if you're over here and you want to get down to there, it's quicker to take this route and then turn off. 
uh, then to take this route on the underground there. But I need an additional connection over there because a lot of people just kind of coming off to go down this way or kind of go down this way. So we got to add more in. And we'll look at doing that next episode anyway, guys. But as the peninsula slowly builds up and gets more populated, things are rocking and are rolling for Snowtown. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye. <laughs>